Hey, what is going on everybody? Ali Madawi here, your strategic partner with Madawi Enterprise. And welcome to another amazing, unbelievable uh, learning lesson that I personally have had over the last few years. And I wanted to bring it to your attention so you don't make the same mistakes that I have made. So first things first, welcome. And I appreciate you spending the next 10 to 15 minutes with us so you can learn a little bit about this incredibly important uh, topic. Uh, of can you really guarantee someone's success because there's many people out there that um, you know either claim it or they tell everybody else you can't so I'm gonna give you my perspective on this matter based on my personal experience based on what I have done over the, the years to uh, make sure that I guarantee myself a successful uh, successful path uh, itself so if this is your very first time hopping on I appreciate you make sure you share this uh, video because there are many people who are suffering in silence and at the same time uh, make sure you give us some thumbs up and some hearts for a, an important message that I know for a fact is going to help you out so let's get right into it can you really guarantee success can the same training that is available out there, whether it's uh, your company training, whether it's YouTube, whether it's you know Grant Cardone, Gary Vee, or what have you, or Ali Madawi, uh, can it uh, make everyone essentially rich and successful? Well, you know it's it's an interesting question that many people may argue yes, it will, it can, and many others will say no, not really. So it really it depends on where you are in your mindset itself. But drop a number one if you think that uh, yes I can guarantee someone's success and drop a number two if you disagree with that statement because I want to know where you stand by it now here is my best five processes that I can tell you about right now to to get everyone to the promised land if you will to get everyone to uh, uh, guarantee yourself a successful path now let's talk about the very first one the number one reason many people don't even take a step forward to become successful or start a process a company or what have you is because of fear they are afraid they're scared so here's what I do trust me I'm a human being I'm just like you I get scared too I have my own emotions that sometimes like oh my god do I really want to do this am I capable am I able will it work for me I have those questions and I guarantee you you will always have them but you want to use fear. See, your subconscious mind is always hungry for more. Your subconscious mind is always at work saying, I want more, I want more, I want more. And then the outer sensors, that's how you're naturally built as a human being. You have these sensors that are automated, uh, automatically there to protect you. If you hear something, you jump. If you feel something, you move your leg, right? It automatically is there to stop you from harming yourself. So the brain convinces you that you are about to hurt yourself, therefore, the skepticism kicks in therefore that fear starts to take all over your body so the main piece is you want to make sure that you use that fear to your own advantage you want to make sure you take that fear and say okay what am I really afraid of let me analyze it what's the worst that can actually happen what's the best case scenario how can I minimize the pain or whatever the case may be and to be honest with you Whatever you're afraid of, most of the time is the best thing for you. You know, think about, you know, we don't want to go to the gym and because we're afraid that we're going to, you know, uh, be judged by people. They're going to look at the way we look. And then it ends up the best thing that we needed to do was to go to the gym. Sometimes we know that we shouldn't be eating certain things or, you know, there's a business opportunity that comes to us and we're like, you know, I'm, maybe I don't want to go that path. So use fear to your own advantage. Do not let fear just freeze you up. Let it actually actually motivate you and it's okay to be afraid just for the record you know there's no such thing as a courageous brave hero who's not afraid of anything literally everyone feels fear fear is actually a healthy mindset fear will let you know sometimes that hey be careful here's the edge so it's okay to understand where the edge is just make sure that you focus on the end result itself so use fear to your own advantage that's what I do if it scares me it's a hint that I should probably go forward with it the second thing is plan according to your lifestyle 
plan according to your lifestyle. I'll tell you my way of making a business decision, when I, whether, whether it's a network marketing, whether it's coaching, whether it's anything for that matter. I evaluate things based on my lifestyle because at the end of the day, I have to give something up in my lifestyle in order to do whatever that thing is, right? So, you know, let's just say we're gonna talk network marketing here for a second. And here's what I evaluate network marketing specifically. Is the product or service the right one for me personally? Not for the friends, the family, and the marketplace. Not, oh my God, everybody's going to need this. No. Am I going to be a firm user, a firm believer in this product, and will it be part of my budget so I don't even have to worry about it every single month? If the answer is yes, check mark. The second piece is, does the compensation plan work for me? Is it something that I see myself with the amount of resources, friends, family, relationship, influence, can I make that work for me? If the answer is yes, absolutely, I'm gonna go for it. And the last but not least, are the people that are in the business are they as invested in me as I am in their business, in their company, in their product, in their service? So if those three, and that's just my way of, of making a business decision, if those three are check, check, and check, well, guess what? That opportunity is the right one for me. So it works for my lifestyle. It works for my economy. It works for my, my relationship with my wife. It works for my ambitions, for my hope, for my future. So don't make a decision based on someone else just because they have a Rolex in their hand. It doesn't mean it's going to work for you, but make sure that you yourself are making and planning accordingly to your life. The next thing is make sure you trim the unnecessary. What does that really mean? Anything out there that, you know, like uh, I, I talked to a couple of coaching clients in the last 48 hours and then I, you know, we talk budgeting, you know, that's one of the, the cores of, of what we believe in, like, hey, you have to have a monthly budget for your business. And then we start talking about like, hey, what are you budgeting? Oh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And then when we start evaluating things, we realize that there's always a whole lot of money that's being invested on things that they thought they just needed, but they did it just because that's what everybody else was doing. That's what the successful person out there was doing. Now don't get me wrong, make sure you make an educated business decision. Make sure that you are evaluating what you're trimming. So if there are things that are not going in a line with your company's uh, or your brand or your vision's mission all the way, it's got to be removed. I personally made some drastic decisions that people told me like you are crazy for not doing X, Y, or Z, but guess what? It looked crazy to them because it has nothing to do with my lifestyle, but it was the right thing for me and for my lifestyle. So make sure you trim the fat so you refocus your resources, whether it's money, whether it's time, whether it's energy or whatever, you refocus your energy on that thing that you are focused on. Last but not least is focus on what you offer to people, not what you need for yourself. You know, I, I uh, we have a, a private group uh, for for uh, our masterminders, and uh, I take screenshots of different individuals that we talk to. And I had a, an interaction via text with a, a, an individual earlier today, and it was almost like, you know, hey, buy my travel, buy my product, buy my thing, buy my thing, buy my thing, buy my thing. And the more I'm like, hey, listen, I appreciate it, but you know. You, Maybe you should evaluate if that's something that would work for me, but I'm willing to learn and we're going back. The more I'm saying, hey, like, can we just say hello? How are you? Can we just evaluate one another? You know, the more I'm just getting like these links and paragraphs of company and hair, you're going to be rich. You got to do this. You got to do this. And it, it was a turnoff to the point where I told the gentleman, hey, I don't think we're in the same frequency. The more I'm telling you, like, let's talk first. Let me evaluate who you are first. The more you're just asking for my credit card. And that just straight up is saying, like, you, you don't care about people. So live on abundance. The philosophy that we've built our business model on with Medawi Enterprise over the last nine years has been, and, and now more than ever, 98% of what we do is absolutely given out there complimentary. It's literally out there. You can find our podcast, this training that I'm doing right now, it's all out there, you know? But 2% is to the exclusive selective individuals. In other words, I give the recipe out. I give all my recipes out. 
But if you want to work with the chef, it's a different story, right? Like, I'll work with you side by side. But my point is, we are operating on abundance. And the more we give, the more the masses give back to us. The more love, the more happiness, the more joy, the more positive change that we are projecting out there, the more love we get back. The more I literally give complimentary coaching sessions all day, the more I help a family, a friend, whomever they are, nonstop, the more it comes back 10 times bigger, better, and stronger. And, and that is a, a law of life, not just business. I mean, if you think about it from a religious or, or spiritual uh, standpoint, you know, uh, the law of attraction says it's all about giving and it's all about gratitude. Uh, faith claims give and you shall receive. You yourself, you feel so good in your relationship, in your own house, whenever you take out the trash or you clean something that you didn't have to do it or you normally don't do it. And that family member says, hey, thank you. That was really nice of you you want to do more of it right because it felt good it's like Christmas you you get more excited about the gift that you're giving to the individual than the gift that you're receiving like think about it when that person is opening your gift what do you do you're looking up like you want to see their reaction and you keep asking them did you like it did you like it did you like it over and over and over and over again because giving is the the, the source of happiness and joy and if you yourself if you are happy, if you're joyful, if you're abundant, if you're amazing up here, your whole body reacts to that positivity, to that greatness. Your whole body says, let me give more. And the more you give, the more you give back. I was speaking to a young lady earlier this morning and you know, we were talking about like, hey, what do you sell? What product do you sell? And my answer was hope. No, but what do you sell with this specific uh, you know, business line? And I repeat it time, uh, uh, incentive, uh, 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 more income, uh, uh, solutions. And again, it was such an interesting fact that, you know, we connected. She finally realized, she goes like, okay, but how do you, how do you project that? Just love, just give, just smile, just, just compliment, give them the, the, to the world. The last bullet point for you, and this is the most important one of it all, be patient. Yes, you can adjust certain things in your business line. You can adjust certain things. You can reevaluate. You can talk to your coach, your sponsor, your whomever is guiding you in your path. But I'm here to tell you, you have to be patient. You know, the bigger the hope, the bigger the goal, the bigger the ambition, the bigger the effort, and the longer the time that it will take. Point blank, period. So don't think because your goal is to make a million dollars is that it's going to be a walk in the park and, you know, if it doesn't happen in a year, you already failed. No, you have to understand 100% of the time that the bigger the goal, the harder it will get. And again, evaluate. Am I willing to go through this path or should I look for an alternative that focuses on my brand, my company, my family? Obviously, that's something that you got to evaluate for yourself. Now, you know, we've been doing uh, uh, these every single day from uh, daily teachings of uh, The Secret. So, you know, and I love it because I actually don't read them before doing these broadcasts. So I just open to the next one every single day. So today's Friday. So here we go. Oh, this is a good one. It starts good. Persist persist, persist, and you will reach a point where the principles of the secret become second nature to you. You will become so aware of the words that people speak, especially when they speak of things they don't want. You will become so aware of the words that you speak when you reach this point, it is a sign that you are becoming more and more aware. You are becoming more consciously aware. So what is the first thing that they said? Persist, persist, persist. Don't give up on your hopes, your dreams, and ambitions. Listen, I had to go over you know, a gazillion different businesses to realize what's the right one for me. I had to fail before I succeeded. I had to go through adversity before I realized that I'm so strong because without adversity, you can't make greatness happen. How do you know that you're going to be great. Even the word greatest has the word test, the great test. So you got to go through the greatest test out there in order to own that title of the greatest. You have to endure 
you know, uh, 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 struggle, pain, uh, sorrow, rejection, all those things are part of the journey because the more you go through that list and you're checking it off, the more powerful you become, the more experienced, the more valuable you become to the marketplace. That is how you can 100% guarantee a successful path for you. A successful, a successful path in your journey. Stop focusing on that other person and try to copy what they did. That was a mistake I was doing. I told you many, many times. I used to copy my mentor, literally in every single level. I used to. I'm like, if I dress like him, if I have my haircut like him, if I talk like him, if I read everything he reads, I'm gonna be just like him. I'll be just as successful. And guess what? Some of that definitely came along and and made a big a, a big impact on us. Some other things I realized. All right, I'm not authentic. I'm not real. I'm not genuine. So. So I ended up making changes. Some business lines I had to drop and go a different direction. But always, always, always be patient. Be patient. This too shall pass. There is no such thing as having a bad day or a bad week. There's only having a character building day or a character building week. Which one are you going to focus on? I truly believe in you. I truly believe in your passion. I really believe in everything that you stand for. And I'm asking you to make sure that you do the right thing for yourself and don't give up on yourself, whatever that means to you. You know, uh, you are the builder in the company, not the company, right? So so don't give up on yourself. There's, there's a list of things that you're going to have to learn in yourself. Don't give up on your hope. Don't give up on your passion. And I truly believe in you and everything. Hey, make sure you share this video. I appreciate the love. I appreciate the heart. Make sure that you join us this Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We are doing the Prospecting Mastery webinar. The link for that is workwithali.com forward slash prospect. That is workwithali.com forward slash prospect. And guess what? It does not cost you a dime. It is absolutely complimentary. So I look forward to working with you all, helping you out as much as I can, and I love you. Have a good day, everybody.